Hello everyone. I am going to explain the experiment on the simple wheel and axle and differential wheel and axle. The aim of the experiment is to find out the mechanical advantage velocity ratio and efficiency of simple wheel and axle and differential wheel and axle. Now, first of all I am going to explain the apparatus required for this one. This one is a compound wheel and axle on which both the experiment for the simple wheel and axle and differential wheel and axle can be explained can be performed. Now, in this experiment, in this apparatus, this one is your uh, effort wheel on which the effort is applied. This one is axle which is, there are two, uh, two axles in this one, one is of shorter diameter and one of the larger diameter and these are, uh, these three things that means these two axles and this uh, wheel are uh, keyed to the same shaft that means when the one rotation of this uh, wheel will take place effort wheel will take place this axle will also take one complete revolution. Now to perform this experiment first is that the binding how this winding of the ropes is to be done. Now while looking from this side if I see from this side then if I am giving anti-clockwise winding to the rope which is on this axle then I will be giving clockwise uh, winding to the rope on the this wheel. So that when the rope is moving in the downward direction then this uh, rope is moving in the upward direction. Now to find out the velocity ratio what we have to do is that that first of all we have to find out what is the circumference of this uh, axle similarly we have to find out what is the circumference of this V. Now to find out the circumference first of all what I will do I will take this one like this so that uh, and I will unwind this rope. With the help of this meter scale I will find out what is the uh, circumference of this V. Similarly, for the axle again I will find what is the circumference and dividing the circumference of this uh, wheel by the circumference of this axle I can find out what is the velocity ratio. Now to find out the mechanical advantage first of all I will apply some weight on this one on this uh, load axle and again I will apply some effort so that the equilibrium position can be obtained. Special care must be taken while applying this load because this is a reversible machine when the load is applied this will fall in the downward direction. So, it should be, uh, you should hold this uh, wheel so that it is not moving in the downward direction and no injury will take place. Now, because now this one is in now in equilibrium position, I will apply some more effort on this one. Again, this is now again in equilibrium position. I will again apply uh, increase the value of the effort so that it starts moving in the downward direction. Now you can see this is moving in the downward direction. This is the value of the effort which is required to lift this load. So for finding out the mechanical advantage, the value of the load is noted down, the value of this effort is noted down and the load divided by the effort applied is the value of the mechanical advantage. Now the second part of this experiment is to find out the mechanical advantage, velocity ratio and efficiency of a differential wheel and axle. Now you can see as explained earlier, this axle is divided into two parts, one of the larger diameter, one of the smaller diameter. Now again while winding of these ropes again you can see from this side if the uh, this winding on this uh, wheel is in the clockwise direction then the uh, winding of the rope on the smaller diameter axle will also be in clockwise direction while in the larger axle diameter this one should be in the 
anti clockwise direction so that when it is moving in the downward direction this effort is moving in the downward direction the rope is unwinded in the downward direction from this uh, smaller diameter axle and uh, the rope is uh, winding of the rope is uh, taking place on this larger axle diameter now again for performing the experiment again you have to find out the velocity ratio again you have to find out the circumference of this wheel similarly the circumference of the larger uh, axle and the circumference of the smaller axle as explained earlier now to find out the mechanical advantage again the equilibrium position is obtained by applying some load and applying some effort on this one now this is in equilibrium position again we will increase the effort in with the help of these small weights so that it moves in the downward direction now i am increasing this uh, effort now you can see this is moving in the downward direction because this is now in impending state so you can note down the value of the effort similarly the value of the load and from there you can find out the mechanical advantage thank you